Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the tidying chest plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to automatically sort items from one chest into other chests depending on what item it actually is. So first of all we're going to have a look at this example that I've made in front of us and what you can see here is a root chest so this is where we deposit items from. So what we need to do is grab just the most random items we can so let's grab a few blocks, maybe some armor, maybe some food as well, and let's grab some diamonds too. And what we're gonna do is place them in this deposit chest. So let's just pop them all in here right now. And then if we look back in there, they'll be gone. So they've been sorted out already, and they are in some of these chests in front of me. So as you can see, there is particular chests for each item, such as diamond, TNT, oak, and then we have a catch-all chest. So this is basically a miscellaneous chest that grabs any other item that is not part of another chest. So let's go ahead and place three chests down. These are gonna be our target chests and let's place one down to be our deposit chest. Stick a sign on it and do square brackets TC. This is going to be the chest deposit. And once we've done that, we can pop a sign on one of the target chests and use whatever item we want. So let's go ahead and find an item. I'm gonna pick maybe Emerald. And once we're here, we can go into game mode zero so we don't destroy the sign. We do brackets, TT brackets, and then we hit it with whatever item we want it to be. So hit it with an emerald and that will link it with emeralds. So if we put emeralds in the tidy chest, they will pop into the target chest. Now, if we go to the other deposit chest, it's going to work the same way. Easy as that. So if we want to make a catch-all one, all we need to do is do square brackets on this sign and just hit it with our fist and then it will be a catch-all chest. Now, as you can see here, we already have a chest for this particular item. So we can only have one, which means we need to destroy the one that's over here. Let's go ahead and just get rid of that sign. That will unlink the chest. And then if we go back to the original chest we were trying to make it with, so do TT in square brackets, then hit with our fist, it will work perfectly. Finally, we could create another one for coal, for example, and we can just hit it with a piece of coal Put all of our items in here and then they are going to vanish and go into the correct chest so that is how you would use it in game it's a really simple plugin but overall it's fantastic let's have a look at the config file and see what we can do in there so here we are in the smpitnik control panel and as you can see there are two files there is a database file and a config.yml so if we go into this one we can see what we can change in here obviously we've got um, various links up at the top if you need a bit of help we have the signs, so we've got the root and the target sign. This is how they will be formatted. You could change the color codes if you really wanted to, uh, but you don't have to. Then we have the limits, so how many root signs do you want? So we created two in game, but you could uh, make it higher if you wanted to. Then we have the target and the default limits there is 50, but you could obviously change that to whatever you wanted to. And then delay, so 30 ticks uh, before an item is transported to whatever chest it's going to then we have whether hoppers trigger a deposit yes or no max locations to 10 and obviously it does work in multiple worlds as well which is really cool and then we have all of the messages so how they're going to look in chat all of the color codes and format codes and that is pretty much everything down at the bottom we have the database information um, but apart from that, it is a pretty simple plugin. It's really awesome, works very well, and it's just fantastic. So here we are on the Spigot page, and as you can see, it's updated to the latest version of Minecraft. There's lots of information and cool images on the Spigot page. So if you need any help, you can contact the developer. I'm sure he'll be able to help you out. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.